going on YouTube? All right, so we got a throttle cable here, GM throttle cable off of something down the line. That's, I just don't throw stuff away. So uh, anyway, uh, 75 Firebird putting this 73 front end on it. These vertical brackets right here are kind of like not in existence. And so uh, you have to improvise unless you have access to one, and I don't. So what I did was I took this throttle cable here, and you guys can, well, I just got to screw through it right now, but y'all can watch it. See that? It's going to open my hood because you can look at this valence down here. It's a big old valence. When you get this valence on, it, it's just the, the condenser and everything's covered up. It's just a small hole right along in here so what i'm going to do is uh let me get back to my little apparatus here i don't know what that uh bracket was it was just in some of my junk it had a round hole in it so i squared that hole off to uh to slip the end of this cable in so it would lock itself on there and it won't come off you know, i mean you might can get it off with a screwdriver but it's on there. Uh, and you can see on the back back there where I notched the vertical brace for the cable to run through and I left the sheath on. I probably took off about three inches or maybe four inches of that sheath so that cable could run. But I left it on that side just in case it rubs or whatever. You know what I mean? It'll help protect it. Um, so, but I, I used that little dude right there. And it works pretty good. It's just a Walmart one. This bracket right here, this bracket right here is $40. $40 for that bracket. And uh, But I used files. See the files down there? That's what I used uh, to square the hole up with. And y'all can see, you see, I had some other old brackets laying around that I was trying to engineer them to maybe work on there, you know. But I ended up using this one. And I got the hole squared off and I slid the cable up in there and it locked itself in. So, but you can see, uh, I don't know, I'm shaking a little bit. I'm getting old, hard to hold the camera still. Uh, you can see it works like a champ. I just got to get this pin. There's a company that sells this little pin right here and they want $20 for that little pin that goes in there. And, uh, and there's also another company that sells this kind of system. You know, it's a professionally made system, and I get it. You know, they want $250 for the cable and their proprietary brackets. And, uh, but I just can't roll like that. You know, I, I ain't got it like that. So anyway, the cable's going to come down, and I'm going to keep it in the center over here behind the nose of the car so you don't see it when uh when the grills are in it and i'm gonna come out right here right here where this little lip is right here where that little dent is i'm gonna come out right here i gotta build me a bracket for that and i think what i'm gonna do is use an old uh gm carburetor bracket that came on the quarter jets and i guess on the two barrels and everything but you guys that work on older cars know what i'm talking about it's already squared off and everything so all I got to do is cut me a piece off of it, maybe weld it or, or probably weld it because that's thick steel right there. Probably just spot weld it on there. And, and that's going to hold this. Let's see. I'm sorry about the camera work right along in here somewhere. So that's where that's going to live. And uh, not sure what I'm going to do on the end here yet. Uh, I've got a little black handle over there, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't have the stuff where I can crimp another end on this. I might just loop this sucker around, you know, something like that. I don't know yet, but we'll see. Uh, but the cool thing is, you know, when you guys are working on stuff, man, save save your parts and pieces and stuff, you know. I mean, that stuff comes in handy down the road, you know. I got all kinds of stuff laying around here. There's some uh, antique stuff from back in the 50s and 60s. A little tray right there they used to hang on your window at the, the little restaurants you go to and the girls come out there on the roller skates and take your order but see here's some of my junk man i save everything i don't let nothing go you know
I mean, it, it's just kind of crazy because I'll do struts on somebody's car or something and I'll stick them up on the shelf over there thinking I might need them at some point. <laughs> but you never know. Here, Here's the uh, new valence right here. I went ahead and got the steel one. You can get steel or plastic. And I didn't feel like plastic was in my range, you know. I'm not a... Uh, but there's the bumper. That's where the bumper's going to live. And these bumpers are not supposed to be tight here. I might can suck that up a little bit more, but we'll see. Um, now, I'm pleased with it, though. I think it looks good, man. The hood lines up with it good. I still got to do a little bit of adjusting on it, but, you know, I still got to paint everything, too, so this stuff's going to come back loose. But uh, the main thing was uh, I just wanted to show... You know, this little system right here, and a lot of people may never run into this. I don't know. You know what I mean? It's just just uh, something that I ran into on this car. And when you build a car like this, you're always going to run into, you know, this, that, and the other. And, and you, you know, you use your skills, man. Improvise. Adapt. You know, you don't have to have brand new stuff for everything. This ain't going to be no show car. I mean, I want it to be nice, and I want it to function, but as far as getting judged by anybody, you know, I don't really care. I'm building this car for my wife, and she wants it, and I want her to be able to open the hood. And, uh, of course, on a Pontiac, you know, once you shut the hood, you can just forget it because they never break down. <laughs> Anyhow, I just thought y'all would get a kick out of this little system right here, man. I think it's pretty cool. But, you know, when you when you do stuff like this, you know, you'd be surprised how it comes together. You know, just use your head and 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 don't be afraid to use some elbow grease, too. You know, just like using these little files right here, man. Them files right there made a big difference in, in making that hole square. That little thing there helped some, you know. But uh, I can't believe this doggone bracket costs $40. That's crazy, man. Of course, everything, y'all know, everything's expensive right now, and everything's going up but your wages, you know. It's just the way it is. Anyhow, I hope y'all get a kick out of that, and that's pretty cool. I hope it uh, will be okay. I'm sure it will. It's, it feels fine. I can't pull that cable out either. I tried to pull that cable out of that, out of that uh, little bracket I made, and it's in there for a while. So, anyhow, y'all have a good day, and I'll keep you informed on the Frankenbird.